How do? My name's Anna. I'm a lover, collector of makeup, wigs, costumes, all things dress up. And today I'm going to show you how I got this look, which I'm going to be honest, did not turn out all that great in my opinion, but that's what happens sometimes. And I thought about not putting this video up, but I thought, you know what? I want I want this channel to be very real and to be about playing with makeup and having fun and not worrying about images or expectations. And that, you know, I think it needs to be fun and you need to take risks sometimes because it could have turned out, I mean, I don't hate it. I just don't love it. <laughs> so I thought that I would put this video up for anyone who wants to watch me experiment and just see what happens um, without without judgment and without um, you know expectations or with maybe failed expectations but you know it's not the end of the world it's still kind of fun and so I wanted to I wanted to show you that and I'm also gonna do some swatches of the Sydney Grace and Temptalia palettes And then I will show you how I did this eye look. So if you wanna watch me just experiment with makeup, then just keep watching. This is the subject of today's video. The Sydney Grace Temptalia palettes, and they are called Radiant Reflection on the horizon and quintessence and these are all the light versions just in case you didn't know they did do a deep and a light version of each palette with um, a couple of the mattes being a deeper or lighter shade to try to um, be able to work with more um, more variety of skin tones. As I said, I got the light versions. I don't think you necessarily, I mean, I'm, I have light skin, but I don't think that necessarily means that I needed the light ones. I just, I don't know, figured that for me, maybe I would like, um, you know, the, the mattes to be a little bit more, um, usable for like a transition shade. So that, that. Anywho, let's swatch these and then we'll get to the eye looks. So, first one I'm going to swatch is Radiant Reflection. So, Unstoppable Love, Operose, Temptalia, oh my goodness, these are pretty, and Forget Her Not. And this one is Our Starry Night, Gloss Over, Sumptuous Serendipity, and Phosphines. Wow, those blues are bright. Hi, Jay. <laughs> and these last four are Dearest Constant, Exquisite Opulence, Jealousy's Descent, and Sublime Reverie. Wow, those swatches are so bold. My goodness. It's not in focus because it's focusing on my face. <laughs> there we go. I'm loving this. It reminds me of The Wizard of Oz. It's very Aussie. <laughs> ruff, ruff. So moving, oh wow, that's funny. I was just gonna <laughs> talk about that. So this is the um, On the Horizon, and I know that um, Temptalia lost her beloved pup. Um, uh, I think it was during during the making of this and so I I think that's like an ode 
to him. And I think that that's so sweet. And this is the inside of that one. Curious to see how that deeper blue is going to do. So the first four shades in the On the Horizon palette are Heart Dog. Ooh. Shiny, shiny. Earthbound. Desert Spoon. And Magellan's Light. I think Magellan was her dog. Was the, the pup, the deer pup. So these next four are Phoenix Awakens. Ooh. October Odyssey. Wow, that's beautiful. These are so well spaced too. <laughs> Midnight Courage, this was that dark blue. And that's pretty good. And then Flying High. Ooh. That's pretty. And these all feel pretty similar. The shimmer shades feel a little bit wet and slightly not gritty but textured um and then the mattes feel they're dry but not powdery if that makes any sense they're just very smooth i love this next color all right so lunar illumination oh my i love that <laughs> infinite echoes sakura Glow, Calming Presence. Again, they're so pigmented. And those shimmers are very, very pretty. This is quite impressive. And then the last one, this is Quintessence. And again, there's a little, little doggy constellation. I love it so much. So sweet. This one looks like there might be a duochrome in there. And again, these mattes feel so smooth. Umbra. Ooh, that is a pigmented black. Orion Nebula. Aurora. Mmm. Yeah, that's a duochrome. No doubt about it. And Borealis. So most of these have given a little bit of kick up, but barely, barely any, except for this color Milky Way right here. Got a lot messier than the rest of them so far. These are Galactic Muse, Interstellar, Celestial Bloom, and the Milky Way. That is phenomenal pigment. <laughs> My goodness. And the last four in this palette, Reaching Zenith. Wow. Parallax. Sirius Starlight. And My Constellation. The thing I'm impressed with here is the pigment. These are very very bold colors. I have to say these five colors on the end could be a mini palette that I would use constantly. <laughs> Man, those are pretty. I've heard wonderful things about this formula, so I've never tried it before. I'm very excited to, to give it a whirl. So I'm going to zoom in, get this out of my face, and we'll get into the eye look. All right, here I am up close. Um, the, I went to the eye doctor today and there's some yellow dye that stained, um, my eyes. So I'm hoping that doesn't affect it too much. Um, but my eyes are primed and anyways, that is, that is what that yellow is. You can see it all over. Anyways, I'm going to try something a little crazy today and I'm just going to try to use as many colors as I possibly can from all the palettes and do something a little creative. So we'll see how this turns out. We're gonna call this the pointillism 
eye look and I'm going to be primarily using my Ruffer 23 because it is so teeny tiny. So we're gonna, we're gonna try this and see what happens. Dipping in to Exquisite Opulence and I'm just gonna put some little dots. And then going into Phoenix Awakens. I'm gonna zoom this in closer. I'm also trying a new concealer today and so far I hate it, so. <laughs> so yeah, it's just showing all the texture. So again, I'm kind of doing a pointillism thing. And I'm focusing these up above my actual lid. I'm incorporating some of those in with the other shade and then moving some of them out a bit. And these are not going to be um, symmetrical, symmetrical. Now switching gears for a second, I'm going to take Heart Dog and pop that into my outer corner, outer V. That yellow eye dye is throwing me off. And then taking a Nakia Joy Cosmetics E05 Firm Blend. And I'm gonna try to just get the edges. I don't wanna mess with that very much. And then taking Serious Starlight on my pinky, putting that all over the lid. Taking that Freya brush again. Bring it in. Just blending it over the top of that other shade. I'm actually going to, since I'm just experimenting like crazy here, on a Morphe M431 pencil brush, taking this gloss over shade, and I wanna see what that looks like in the inner corner. We're just playing with color, y'all. <laughs> it's interesting, the Midnight Courage shade is looking very gray um translating to very gray on me going into our starry night on the inner and outer lower lash line and then into forget her not Moving it in a little more. Ooh, that one's really pigmented. It looks much deeper on my eye than it did in the pan. And then in the center, first I'm going to do Umbra, the very dark black. But now that I have that depth, I want to put the shade Opera Rose over that. All right, I'm gonna go back to that little tiny Ruffer 23 brush. And I'm going to take the Milky Way and I'm going to deposit that everywhere in bits of shimmer. Also just trying to soften up some of those spots just a bit. And these are a lot messier, <laughs> um, actually using brushes with my fingers. It wasn't as much, but these are pretty messy this way. In the pan though, not on my face. Little bit of fallout, but not too bad at all. Do I look like a painting? <laughs> I'm gonna take a fluffier, it's a rougher 15. And I'm 
going to go into the shade Parallax and Reaching Zenith like in combo and I'm gonna see if I can just sort of buff this out a little bit and I'm just making a mess okay scratch that that was not a good idea worked on the other side only going into parallax a little bit later shade I'll try that again okay I'm gonna clean that up a, a little bit and put some face makeup on we'll see we'll see what we think okay I'm back so this is one of those moments where I feel like a wig is gonna save me and part of that and I don't mean so I don't I don't love the way that it turned out I think it's kind of cool in a certain way and it certainly wasn't the shadows the shadows performed actually pretty amazingly and I love I love this blue in the inner corner I think that is really lovely. So I like to experiment and play around a lot. And I kind of wanted to show you, and I left this video up because I wanted to show you that it doesn't always turn out, you know, as something that I'm, that I'm wowed by, that I love. But if I didn't try this, I wouldn't know, you know, and maybe there's a better way to do it or a way to make it turn out. But you know, it kind of just looks messy to me. I don't love it. Um, anyways. I figure I put a wig on and this particular wig kind of gets in my eyes a lot and so this is one of those moments when a wig super helps the look like if I was gonna go out and I had already done my makeup and I was like I don't have time look wig great awesome um, so a reason why I love wigs <laughs> um, so anyways oh Actually, there was one more thing that I wanted to show you, or a couple things. So when, here, I'll get those out of my face for your, for your sake. When I ordered these Temptalia palettes, and I have a video where I go through all of this, it's an unboxing and I'll put a card. I got the buy a certain amount and get a certain amount of product, product, <laughs> ribbit, um, free. And I was really pleased with what she sent. So I did um, the rest of my face with some of the products that she sent. And one was this lip cream. I really love this. This formula is really comfortable. And um, it's, it's great. And a lovely color. I do have some lip liner on as well. And then this highlighter, it's a loose highlighter. And it looks, you can kind of see the shine of it better in there. It really, I have it on right now. I was worried that it was going to be too bright or too colorful. But I actually really love it. Um, it's really subtle, but it's got a nice sheen. Um, the thing is, I think for this particular look, I want a little bit more blam, um, just because I feel like it is a little bit strange or odd, and so I want to sort of emphasize that, just like uh, with the wig. And so I thought that I would put a little bit of um, a couple other highlighters over that, but I wanted to show you this highlighter because I think it's stunning. The subtlety and gleam to it are very pretty. So I'm going to take this Moonlighter from Black Moon Cosmetics. These are my favorite product from them. And this is kind of a blue highlight. And then I have another shade Catfish. I'm going to mix those together. One is sort of purpley pink and one is sort of blue. I'm going to see if I can sort of amp up my highlight. Just a little bit, yeah, for this particular look. I just wanted it to look a little bit more space age. I might've gone a little overboard just then. 
I might need to calm that down just, just a bit. Yeah, I went a little ham on this cheek. Let's uh, just take kind of a powder brush and get that a little calmed down. And that went a little, a little more than I meant to. But that is more the look that I was kind of thinking for, for the eye look. Anyways, um, that's, that's how it went. I really liked working with the shadows. I think had I done something a little bit more, not even traditional, just not experimented so much, it would have probably turned out. And I will definitely play with it more. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, that is my video for today. Thank you for being here. If you did enjoy this and you want to see more of me playing around, give this video a thumbs up and I really appreciate you being here. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much. And I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing, hit that subscribe button, and I definitely will have more videos to come. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.